What's up everybody, it's Wobbly Gander, and today I got another video for you guys. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about the prior enlisted airmen who might want to attend the Air Force Academy. So this program is called the LEAD program, the Leaders Encouraging Airmen Development Program. And this is just designed to get you from being an airman to transition into the Air Force Academy and to become a second lieutenant four years later. The Air Force Academy is a tuition-free four-year process. You get a bachelor's of science degree at the end of it, and typically you get to get a really good selection of your job. So it's a pretty good program overall. I would say it's better than OTS or ROTC in terms of getting that final job and getting to where you wanna go. It's also free. I know a lot of my subscribers are airmen who went through the debt program, are now going through tech school, or possibly they're active duty now, and they're just looking to advance their career. I hope these videos have been getting the message out there, but I want to convey to you guys that the academy isn't all like sunshine and rainbows. Don't expect the same lifestyle that you have now as an airman. It's going to be a lot different. If you're an airman and you show up on day one at the academy, your rank is going to be gone. You're now at the bottom of the bottom. You have to earn back everything that you had before. Oh, you like those civilian clothes that you used to be able to wear when you weren't at work. Oh, we can't wear those anymore. Oh, oh, that's a nice car you got there. <laughs> We're gonna take that as well. Um, oh, is that is that a paycheck? Uh, go ahead and throw that in the trash. Um, you still get a stipend, uh, but it's a lot less than your paycheck before. You won't have as much time as you used to, so if you're in a relationship, that might not work out, especially if you're engaged. Um, and you can't be married at all if you're going to the Air Force Academy. You have to go through the Air Force Academy's basic training, which is a little bit different than enlisted basic training. So there's a lot of different things that you're gonna have to sacrifice and earn back. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit annoying because you're gonna think to yourself, I gotta earn back civilian clothes. I earned back civilian clothes in tech school when I phased up. I gotta earn back the right to have a car. Well, I have the right to earn a car, uh, to have a car at my first duty station. You know, I gotta earn back a paycheck. Well, I did that you know, on day one. So it's, it's just a lot that you're gonna have to rebuild. Now those are the benefits and the cons of going to the academy. Now if you think about it and you say, hey, the, the benefits outweigh the cons, I'm gonna take this opportunity, I'm gonna go. Now keep in mind that when you show up at the academy, your leaders might be younger than you. It's important to realize that the, uh, the age gap of the most cadets is between 17 and 21. However, most airmen that show up are between the ages of about 20 and maybe about 23. I'm 23, I'm the second oldest airman uh, at the Air Force, uh, well, in my class. I'm the second oldest person, I think. And that puts me in a position where I'm older than my squadron commander, um, most of the leadership in my squadron. There's only one person older than me in my entire squadron, and she's a junior. Uh, so that puts you in a weird position where you have to follow orders from people who are a lot younger than you. Now, you can always try to help them out um, as somebody with experience, as somebody who does know the right thing to do, but you have to do it respectfully and you have to know a tactful way to do it. So be humble, give advice when they want to receive advice because sometimes they don't want to hear it. Another piece of advice is to help out all of your classmates during basic training. They're not going to know how to make beds. They're probably not going to know how to wear their uniforms correctly. There's going to be a lot of things that they just are just lost in the woods. Any little thing that you learned in your basic training or during being in the Air Force, convey that to them because the better you do as an entire flight, the better your all of your experiences will be. And this will actually help you out later in the year when it comes time for academics because all these people are bookworms and geniuses and borderline you know, Einstein's over here, but they don't know how to make a bed. So if you can help them make a military bed or bunk, you know, that might come in your favor later on when we're learning calculus. So it's good to make connections in basic training. Last thing I want to mention is the prior enlisted airmen's club and just sort of the culture around being an airman at the academy. You're always going to have, you know, other priors that you're probably going to gravitate towards because they're your age, they've been through the same experiences, and they actually have a club that meets occasionally. Um, it's called the Prior Enlisted Airmen's Club, and you actually get to uh, go there, meet other priors who are maybe seniors, juniors. These people are like 26, 27 years old. They've been there for a while. And you can sort of just see a light at the end of the tunnel, and it just helps to see people who are that much further away, and you know that you'll get there eventually. But that's pretty much what it's like being an airman at the academy. It's a little bit stressful because you see people who are just 
lost, but they're, they're, they're your leaders. But you also see people who listen and they, they, they realize early on, okay, um, I understand how to be a leader. It's not by beating people down, it's by building them up. It's by motivating them in a different way. And it's by doing X, Y, and Z. And those are the people that I look up to. There are people who are younger than me that were in charge of me already in the first semester who I greatly looked up to. And then I will try to take the examples that they provided into my own leadership ethic and my own leadership style. So it was a great experience my first semester. Um, there's a few people, of course, that you know just need a little bit more work. But that's the whole point of the academy is to try to get you to that point where you can be a good lieutenant. That pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comment box below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.